and behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Does anyone remember what time or what event is happening here when Jesus is speaking? He's on the Mount of Olives. He is about to ascend back to heaven. This is his last, yeah, his last, it's a little bit before then. It's his last opportunity being face to face with his disciples, right? And as he is departing, he is telling them to do something. He's telling them, I'm going to send you something called the promise of my father. And in order for you to receive this promise, you need to wait where? In Jerusalem, correct? There's a few elements here we want to examine a little bit closer. What was that? Wait to wait together. Thank you. Very true. To wait together. Now I want to ask some questions and some elements we want to examine. That means that up until this point, that promise was not yet fulfilled or given, correct? Up to this point, they had to wait in Jerusalem. Christ was going to send it. Uh, shortly. We want to understand the significance of that a little bit more. What does it mean? What, what is it about this promise? Why was it not yet given? Why did they have to wait in Jerusalem? What are the elements that are involved in this particular promise? But I want to pinpoint something I don't want anyone to miss. For all ages of human history, up until this point, this promise was not given. That's according to the words of Christ. Isn't that right? So from Adam to Abraham to Moses, all the way to John the Baptist, none of these people experienced the reception of the promise of the Father. According to Jesus, because he said, Jesus has said, I'm still going to send it. You just need to wait in Jerusalem. So what was coming was something of great significance that had never come before. Are we safe in making that conclusion from this verse? We haven't even looked at any other verses yet. We're just looking at this one verse so far. And so this is just a few minutes before his ascension. He's talking about this thing that's about to come. Three elements that uh, we learned from this verse. I want to summarize them before we go on to our next verse. That the promise of the Father was not yet given up to this point. That's the first point. That the promise of the Father, second point, is shortly going to come to pass in a particular location. What's the location? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. And third thing is the promise of the Father has to do with receiving power. These are three elements that we learn directly from the verse. We just analyze it plain and simple. So what does this talking about? Obviously Christ was referring to events that would shortly happen. We're familiar with them because they're recorded in the book of Acts, particularly in chapter 2. But I want to look at the lead up to that because it helps us appreciate something that maybe we usually miss in this familiar story. Yeah.